Hello all, and happy Tuesday, and welcome back to another Alliance War. This time we're taking on Thor, Thor, however you say it. Going in with my previous team, Killmonger, Void, and Blade. First fight up is a four-star Mystic on the Power Start 1 cornered node. It's a Doctor Strange. Uh, and one thing that I noticed pretty quickly in this fight is that this, uh, this person also has Mystic Dispersion on, so... Uh, you'll notice after a couple of dexes, his power is going up really fast. Um, and at this point, I'm really worried that I'm going to tank a special 3. Luckily, he throws his S2 right away, and I'm terrible at dodging it. So I just block the first two hits, dodge the last one so that I can come and encounter. And since it's a 4-star, he goes down pretty quickly after that. Next fight is a Beast. Uh, on just the recovery optimist limber node, just a diversity thing. I see Beast in Alliance War way more than I feel like I should. And I don't think that he's a particularly good champ f for anything. Uh, I guess he has a little survivability if you switch modes to him with his S2 and get that regen, but I don't know. He's got an okay bleed if you get tagged, but really it's uh, this is not a very exciting fight, uh, especially for for Void. Um, I suppose you might just want to put your 6-star champs on defense as much as you can, because they're more punishing if you get hit, but um, he's just not a very not a very good champ at all. Uh, so it doesn't take more than a, a minute or two. 33 hits, pretty good fight. So next up, I skipped all the way to a Domino mini-boss. So, uh, this domino is only an R4, and the SIG is real low. I think it was like SIG 19. Um, so, I am the way I fight domino, uh, you can do the, the dash back on the medium and come right back in, but I don't really think I'm good at that. I am boosting up here um, because I can do the next three nodes uh, over one boost, um, and I'm not really sure how this fight is, is going to go. I don't fight domino a lot on this node, um, and she's not a, a terribly good matchup for Void. Um, so you can see I'm baiting out heavies to get my, my openings. Um, and I'm trying not to attack her if she gets lucky when she fills a bar of power. Um, and then if I get unlucky, uh, then I can't dodge her, her S1. I have to, to block it. So I'm trying to push her when I can to her S2. And you'll also notice here that I am, I am procking critical failure on every single hit. And that is from the Resonate Mastery. So since it has such a low chance of, of procking, I'm pretty much causing her ability to trigger on every basic attack. But since her SIG is so low, uh, you can see I'm not really taking any damage from it, which is really nice. You also notice that uh, at some points my Intimidating Presence debuffs will actually just straight up fail, uh, which is fine. Uh, in a fight like this, you really just want to keep, keep at it. Uh, the more chances you have to, uh, to place them with your S1, just take it. Um, the real danger is if Fear of the Void kind of fails to process or proc. Uh, so I've got the two Petrifies up now, uh, and I get tagged there. I got a little overconfident because the fight was going so well. Pushed over Bar of Power. She got lucky, triggered an Evade, and just tagged me. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't too damaging, uh, but I will need to heal up a bit later. Uh, so overall, pretty happy with that fight. <coughs> So on this node, this is a Black Panther Civil War on the Armor Up node, a champ that I see here all the time. Uh, people like to put him here, I think because there are points in the game where you will accidentally trigger parry when you're trying to dex. So I, I, at this level, really, it, it's, it's not difficult for higher tier players to avoid stunning Black Panther Civil War on purpose. Um, and since the, the armor node gives him that stun reflect pretty much the whole time, um, it's really just a matter of baiting his specials. Uh, and the key to his special one, if you can push him to a special two, that's great. The key to a special one is either just to straight up block it, or when you're trying to bait it, always dash back twice because the hit events on it are so close together that you will always, always get tagged by the second swipe if you dodge the first one. So a little tip there. So not too bad either. So I was going into this fight expecting a Mephisto since it's the recovery node. And I glanced at the persistent charge there quickly. Didn't notice that it said zero instead of three. 
So this is actually going to be a Morning Star and not a Mephisto. I did heal up just in case. Um, still kind of stinging from that domino fight, but you know. And this Morning Star, the PI is really low, so I'm thinking it was just like a, a 345 maybe. Um, yeah, I'm taking a little bit of bleed damage on each hit. Uh, willpower is healing more than the bleed damage, so uh, I'm not really concerned about it at all. And she, and she is she is taking just a ton of damage from me. Um, really surprised that they would put a such a low rank champ on this node. Um, I mean, this is it's a slaughter. 29 hits. So my last fight of this war is the King Groot on the mini boss with the strike back. Uh, boosted up again because my previous boost had run out and I also might have fallen asleep. So I did this fight the next morning. Uh, just a small 10% boost though. Uh, really on the, on this node, King Groot, it, the danger is not getting wrecked by him. The danger is timing out on him because he has a pretty high health pool, especially as a six star. Um, and you can see at the start of this fight, it doesn't look like I'm doing too much damage. And I, I forget about the strike back there, and I bring him over two bars of power. So now I'm trying to bait out the S2. And he's not wanting to, to throw it. There we go. I think it is possible to avoid the poison breath there, but I've, I've, I don't usually try it because it's just too punishing if you miss. So it looks like I'm not doing much damage here. And when he has the Furies up, he'll actually eat my Intimidating Presence debuffs, which uh, is frustrating. But uh, once you get Fear of the Void up, uh, then you get that really nice attack increase with Void. And then you'll see him really start to just go down easy. So I got one Petrify up now, so I'm safe to throw the S1 there. I'm not bringing him up to two bars of power again. Triggering the uh, S1 there, and from here it's just cycling, you know, uh, bring him close to two bars it again, bait out the S1, go in for a five hit combo, throw your S1. Uh, so I've got both petrified debuffs up now, so I'm in, I'm in a good spot for my specials. I don't really have to be concerned about his power. Uh, and he, I think he's going to eat that one, yeah. So he does eat that one. The next one will cause the Fear of the Void timer to come up. Almost got a little too close there to uh, two bars, but fortunately he decided to throw his S1 right away. All right, so I've got Lucky and got the two Petrovies up right away after Fear the Void. So he's going to be losing power now when I hit him with a special attack instead of gaining it. But at this point, it's, it's really a lost cause for him because I'm just going to uh, beat the crap out of him. So one more special he gets in and boom, down. So pretty good, another no death war. Still in search of that no hit war though, that domino. Uh, should have paid more attention, but uh, you know. So we did end up losing this war. It was really close when it came down to diversity at the end. So congrats to Thor and uh, to you the viewer. Thanks for watching and have a great night.